Oops. Stop. Showing us part of love with the dogs. They ain't showing us. Welcome, you guys, to Butler Kennel Rock Waters, man. Today, we're doing something special for you guys, man. We are giving our puppies, they've been eating raw food, but they haven't eaten a whole, eaten a whole chicken yet. So, today, we're in a surprise to show the puppies, boys and girls. Look at them. Look at them. What's up, baby? What's up? So this is their first time actually, um, they're going to be enjoying a nice raw snack for the first time ever. Um, actually, uh, this is their first raw snack. Um, they they have eaten um, raw food before. Of course, you saw the mixture, our mixture, our butler kennel mix. So if you're looking for uh, the butler kennel mix, we do, we are starting to sell that coming next month. Um, we're gonna officially be having that starting on our 19 year anniversary, which is March 25th um, as well. So we will be starting the selling of those. Our dog food, our dog food is going uh, primarily first with those who bought dogs from us, okay? So um, who bought dogs from us or purchased um, from us before. So we will got to take care of them first who's supported us, support them back. But anyway, right now we are giving the puppies a first time snack. I don't know how it's gonna go. You guys know I'm very serious when I tell you guys this is unscripted. I actually came here. I was supposed to be gone, leaving already, but today I'm going to do a quick video showing you guys um, what it's gonna be like to see the puppies actually eat the food uh, that we got right here. Um, I think they're going it. You guys already know, first and foremost, man, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, the like button, notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up, man. Um, showing your love and support. That's one of the biggest things we love to do. Show the support. It only takes a click of a button. You know, following us and everything else is very, very uh, helps us support the channel as well and give you guys great content. Um, you know, so when we do go live and do videos, you guys are up to date. And if you guys are looking for a puppy, you guys know that our puppies are always sold out before they are born. So get on the list, man. Get you guys a puppy. Um, give me a call. Phone number is 843-670-3346. Again, that number is 843-670-3346. Hold on, let me clean my screen off right quick. Same because I have to clean this. There we go. Um want you guys uh also you guys know what i love to do man type in below where you guys are watching from which state are you repping which state represents the most watching butler kennels man on the videos um i have a special surprise that i always like to do for you guys who's always watching our videos uh which state represents um you know sometimes we might be doing a discount for someone in that state that represent that month like say for example say for example this video is representing Florida. Florida is always representing it's a lot more Florida people. Somebody call me that month from Florida, you might get a 10% discount on your dog if you're from Florida. I'm not gonna tell you what state it is, you know what I'm saying, but we got you, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, don't just do it just because of that. It's something fun to do. We have fun doing it. Uh, let you guys see these big, beautiful puppies. And they get to see nice raw snack. Like I said, this is just a snack for them. Now they're gonna probably eat off this for a little bit. Now these are leg quarters that I've just cut. Um, this size dogs here don't need a whole leg. But they will eat one, but if you guys can see also as well, if you guys are looking for a pup and you want your pup with a tail, you can get yours with the tail if you want. That's the one with the tail. Get it with a tail if you like. I personally don't like tails, but guess what? If you're buying a dog from us, and you purchase a dog, you should get exactly what you want, not just what somebody's trying to sell you. This is one of the great things about buying a dog from us. Um, we're different than any other breed in the world. We've had a waiting list for over 18 years, um, come 19 years this year, um, which means for 19 years, our dogs have always sold out before they are born, and for good reason. People trust us, people know what the dogs are gonna get. You can't fake it. I mean, you can't fake it that long, you know what I mean? So, uh, 
if you're wanting a dog, um, you should talk, contact your breeder. Let your breeder tell them, you know, what you're looking for and everything else. They should be able to. Because don't fall for the gimmick. A lot of breeders just got dogs available. Yeah, come get this dog, man. I want a dog with wings. Yeah, come buy this dog. It's going to have wings when it gets older. And it's going to be this. No, ask your breeder what they're breeding for. If they already have puppies on the ground, you can ask them, what are you breeding for? What was the purpose of this litter? You know, all that good stuff. If they already have puppies on the ground. Because sometimes... You can find a puppy that you're looking for in a litter that's already born, but if you want a customized dog, what we do, this is what we do here. We give you that customization dog that you're looking for. Because somebody might be looking for a dog like this one, and the other litter might have some that has whatever, you know what I mean? So, um, let's get right to it, man, what you guys really came to see. You guys came to see puppies and eating legs and this little attitude they got. So, I'm going to see how they're going to... I don't know how they're gonna react to it. First time smelling like, what in the world is this? So what I do is, I don't just feed everybody at one time. I like to get everybody some. Get some, bam. You get one, I'm like, Oprah, you get a leg, you get a wing, you get a die. Oh. Are you warm or not, man? Kind of licking on it. Everybody's like quiet all of a sudden now. I'm going to take this all in here. Put this one. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. I got one for everybody. Everybody's getting a leg or a thigh. Okay, I'll put this right here for you. I'm going to put this one over here for you. You got a leg over here. Y'all have to all fight for one. So, this is what we do here, um, here at Butler Kennel Rockwilders, man. I want to give you guys the best, show you guys the best. Um, if I got information, man, I'd love to share it with you guys. Now, understand this, you guys, speaking about information, um, I've been doing this for 18, about to be 19 years. So, there's a lot of information that I do have, that I've gone through, I experience, that can and will save you a lot for those who are starting a kennel. Or those who may already had a kennel but got questions about certain things. Now, I am a person that loves to give information. If you watch my videos, my videos are all about information and giving it to you. Now, for those that want to start a kennel that's saying, hey, you know what, Tony? Man, I got questions about this. I got questions about this. Give me the information. I'm starting a kennel. What advice can you give me? Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff here. If you don't want to sit through my videos and watch all of my YouTube videos and everything else, I offer consultations as well. Uh, if you're looking for a consultation, we go over everything. If you how to start your kennel, how to be successful with your business, breeding dogs, what to look for, what not to look for, uh, what to leave alone, what to go with, and all that kind of good stuff there. Um, and everything, health-wise, how to you know keep your dogs healthy, cleaning, all that kind of stuff with your kennels. Um, even advertising your litters and all that kind of, not me advertising your litters, but how to advertise your litters the right way. Um, you know, but that's one of the biggest things about, um, you know, when you're talking about a consultation, you guys, you can't now, you, listen, this is how I look at it. If you call me asking me about a consultation, but you want information, but you're not even willing to put down the money that it takes to get the knowledge. It's like going to school. You pay money at school to be informed and educate yourself so you can go out in the real world and flourish, you know, and be great. Um, <laughs> Don't expect me to give you information for free when I had to work through it and get through it myself. You're paying for knowledge to save yourself and save your things. I hate when people come, well, if you love to breed, you'll just give it to somebody. Well, if you love to breed, then you'll just go work for it as well, too. You know what I mean? So this is not something that I do for people to just give it away and this stuff and that. 
I love helping people, but to show me that you want this help, you gotta show me that you're willing to put the work in and actually do it as well too. Hey, you. So, we got Blue over here being a little aggressive, little puppy. Not really aggressive, I'm just saying that, but. So people are asking, how do you get, how do you stop your dolls from doing this and everything else from, from the time they're little and all that kind of stuff? It's a method to it as well to show you guys. Um, you guys see how my dolls eat their food. So this is the first time, like I said, they're eating hard, solid food. You notice there's a difference when they eat the soft food and how they react. Everybody's eating at the same bowl, it's no problem. But, but when you come to an individual piece, it's a little bit different in how they react, how they do things. Like I do like this here. <laughs> stop it. Oh, stop it. So you get them how you stop it here now when as puppies. So it's not cute. People are going to be like, oh, it's cute to see this puppy do this and this puppy do this. And this, these are young, young puppies, so they're not used to it yet. But you as a breeder or a pup, pet owner are supposed to learn how to stop this stuff before it gets to a problem because guess what happens it's cute right now and like oh they're just playing over the meat then the dog gets older then the dog six months old then you're gonna be calling me tony how do i get a dog because i can't touch my dog's food i can't you see it or whatever <laughs> so what i would do is in this situation is I take the dog away every time. He's gonna start learning the same thing every time. When he's eating, I go in there while he's eating because he's the one that's showing aggression, right? See how he's gonna start slowing down now when he's gonna start eating his food? And he's gonna get used to this here. See that? Before I touched him when he's eating his food, he getting all aggressive and like, hey, don't touch my food, get me away. Now I pull him away and he's like, man, dad, why are you stopping me right now? Why are you stopping me? So I put him back down with his food, with another brother right there. And you see this blue collar. Same thing with orange now. See how he is? He was even worse. But like I said, this is the very first time they're doing it. So this is the very, very, very first time. So you got to, dogs aren't just gonna naturally just, oh, just in that. So you have to take your time, show your dog this in. And see, put my hand back on the dog again. Now he's learning to say, hey, this is not what he wants me to do. It's not okay. And I am going to learn not to do that at all um, as well. So the fighting stops. But you're going to do that with every dog. And now all the puppies. And this is what breeding, a true breeder takes his time with each dog, shows that temperament, and develop temperaments on these dogs as well too. Um, behaviors and all that kind of stuff. So um, like I said, I'm just waiting for Blue to get really indulgent to his food. This one, I'm just working on this one right now for you guys. Like I said, this wasn't even a part of the plan, you know what I mean? But I'm just showing you guys. So now, now look at this. While he's eating his food, the aggression has stopped now. You know what I mean? Not saying it's going to stop completely over one time, but it's going to train him to not do it. And all of these puppies are the exact same way in training and showing them what to do, what not to do, and how to get them involved the right way. So, um... There's a class right there. Butler Kendall Rock. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that for you guys. But uh, I got you guys, man. That's how we do it. Um, yeah, let me know. You got any questions or anything else? Looking for a pup? Give us a call. 843-670-3346. Um, we are taking deposits on our future litters. Um, but you have to give us a call. And that way we can go through all the stuff for you, what you're looking for in your dog. Um, you know, we do have a waiting list. I say it, I say it, I say it, I say it 10 million times. I have a waiting list, always have one. Thank God, I'm very appreciative of it. It means that we're doing something right and we're very blessed to be there um, in doing so. So, um, yeah, we got you guys, man. You guys stay tuned, man. Love you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. We're the best of the best can always be found, man. Don't get it twisted. I see a lot of people coming up with this. Best of this and best of this. This to the west of the best, and this we the best. Man, listen, proof is always women lie, men lie, numbers don't. Um, you know, we came from the bottom and we have worked ourselves for 18 years. And I'm not knocking anybody else. If you feel you're the best, go be the best and go strive to be the best. And I think I love it, man. And I love because I think sometimes people get it twisted where I'm the best. No, you're not the best. I'm the best. And it becomes this greed 
of enviness between each other. And anybody who follow me know I love to see people do good, man. I love to see this Rottweiler breed, people who breeding their dogs and they're elevating because it should push you to elevate for you to be better yourself and be better. It's not a competition. The only person you should be in competition with is yourself. But I see people trying to make claims of other things. Like I don't, All I gotta say is take your time, work at it, work at your craft. Be the best at your craft, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be in competition with anybody else trying to be better than somebody else. Be the best for you. And whatever job it is that you're doing, whether career you're in, whether you pick up trash, be the best trash picker up there is. Don't matter. But um, this all, we can all get together and do this thing together, man. It's enough for everybody to eat. You know what I mean? It's nothing but love from Butler King and Rockwallers. Even the people who hate on me, jealous of me, can't stand me, don't like me, spread lies about me, news. Don't matter. I still love you guys, man. I still want to see you guys succeed because what you do don't affect me at all in any kind of way. So with that being said and done, you guys be good, be blessed, have a great day. Love you guys. Butler Kennels, we're out. Also, give us, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. The link will be in the bio below. So, um, yeah, all that good stuff. 843-670-3346. I'm out.